Well, we've made it to Tuesday, and it's definitely a cloudy day across the Anchorage area. Some of those higher elevations have seen some snowflakes, but it hasn't been much of any accumulation noted from the airport locations. You can see the swirl of low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska. Some gusts, especially strong, out through the Aleutians, parts of the West Coast, 43 mile per hour gusts for King Cove. They've made it to 23 miles per hour in Kodiak, and you should see those winds subside as you head into tomorrow midweek. Let's get to our satellite and radar imagery. You can see that curl of low pressure affecting the south central area. Some of those clouds drifting into the interior and wind chills. They're still going to be a factor along with blowing snow along the Arctic slope. So we have some ongoing wind chill, winter weather advisory and even blizzard warnings for the northwest coast all the way into Prudhoe Bay and then continuing to the east. Wind chills to 50 below and winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour in many of those areas. And then the panhandle, the storm system, they've seen just a few showers, but tonight into tomorrow, the big impact arrives. And this will mean five to nine inches of snow for the northern portion of the panhandle. It starts out as dry snow, but it'll become wet through the day and down toward the south end of the panhandle. in. Ketchikan and surrounding areas starting at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, 3 to 5 inches of snow, but it starts out wet and stays wet and heavy through the day. Our current temperatures, Panhandle locations, 31 in Ketchikan, 25 in Juneau, so the temperatures are cold enough to support the snow as they start out, but the temperatures will warm eventually. 22 for Fairbanks, we have 21 above in cloudy skies in Kotzebue, but it is 20 below. That is the temperature in Dead Horse. They've seen those wind chills down to 30 and 40 below through the day. South Central, seasonal temperatures, somewhat active weather across parts of the peninsula to Prince William Sound. Snow and rain noted there. There will be some clearing in Kodiak. You'll see some sunshine. And as I mentioned, those winds will drop off. So there's a, a bit of clearing here and even into parts of the Kenai Peninsula. Meantime, low pressure will swirl over the panhandle and that's just going to start several rounds of very active weather for them. There's our second storm system that continues to push through and the Aleutians, they'll be uh, getting impacted by another large area of low pressure. So let's talk about the Iditarod forecast, what we'll be seeing along the trail. They could see some light snow. Now, a lot of those racers were at Finger Lake into Rainy Pass. They've moved on from Rainy Pass. So heading toward the McGrath area, they will see some light snow, overnight low temperatures into the teens, mid 20s for their high temperatures tomorrow. They get some uh, light winds and mild temperatures. So you don't want anything too warm because those dogs uh, otherwise would prefer to run at night when it was cooler. Southeast Alaska, here's your rounds of rain and snow starting Wednesday for you. Those temperatures will warm to close to 40 degrees around Sitka, so that's why it's going to get wet and uh, heavy snow. Across the Kenai Peninsula, some clearing tonight. Gusty winds again in many locations around uh, Whittier. You can see them anywhere from 10 to 30 miles per hour. Windy around Cordova. For the valleys, though, things calm down. We'll keep the clouds. There's a chance of some snow showers lingering there, even here in the Anchorage area with a high temperature up to 33 for tomorrow. Our seven-day forecast, we're going for temperatures into the 30s the next couple of days. And as we go into Saturday night, into Sunday, don't forget to set those clocks ahead, spring forward. We'll have more coming up a little bit later. Thanks, Jackie.